Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Heike and you're watching Stone Cold Coffee Crafts. And I'm back with my second half of my EM Fun store unboxing. Um, as always, I buy things in two. I don't know why, it's, it's a habit of mine. And again, I bought two paintings in my last order. The first to arrive was the bee and the second one arrived today, one day later. And let's unbox this real quick and have a look at it. So um, I wanted to show you something I have been doing with um, these tubes recently because I don't know about you, but I always struggle with um, opening them without cutting my purple ribbon or the protective layer on the tube. You don't need any of them, but I like to keep them. So what I've discovered is you can just cut the that way. <laughs> and just pull the tube out. Duh! <laughs> Works every single time. So this painting is a 40 by 60 and it has 28 colors. And what I'm hoping for here is that a lot of these colors are actually purple. This should be a very purple painting. Um, Stats is actually the same as with the last one. I ordered um, this painting on the 5th, did I, is that the one? I have no idea. I think I pulled up the wrong page. Um, so let me check real quick because I'm super prepared. I ordered it on the 12th, it shipped on the 14th and it arrived today which is the 22nd of June. So once again pretty quick. And we have our usual bag of baggies. We have a blue washi tape. I think I'm I think I've had blue already. I'm not sure. I know there's at least one more color. I've seen a green. <laughs> so one of these days. Um, we have our uh, typical Ever Moment toolkit with the pink pen and the purple squishy. Single placer, three placer, six placer, the good but pointy pair of tweezers. Um, two pieces of wax and the white Mosva boat. And yes, the first color I see is purple. Oh yes. As you can see exactly what I was hoping for, pretty much every shade of purple that exists in the DMC code, I would guess. Um, and not much else. The reason for that is that I ordered this stinking cute kitty picture. I've been wanting this for such a long time. Um, I originally wanted to order it. Hi, pussy. I wanted to order it from Diamond Shop. They used to have that in their um, catalog, but um, <laughs> when I finally brought myself to put my first order in, it was sold out. And they told me they are not going to restock it um, unless I wanted to do it as a custom. And I actually intended to, but then I thought, saw that one of the Ever Moments recently added it. And then I decided, well, let's go with Ever Moment. So that's what we did. The back of the canvas looks absolutely immaculate. We don't, we even don't have this um, in the other canvases you could always see on the back where the adhesive meets. There was always a, a fine line you could see. Even that is not visible in this one. Which I hope is a good sign. We will see. Take out our metal ruler and press down on the adhesive first. There is always a fine layer of dirt on the cover paper. I've noticed that in the past as well. Um, I wonder why, if it's from the inside of the tube or where this is always coming from, but I've noticed it's always there with the Evermoon paintings. So, 
I guess you just got a good glimpse at my head. <laughs> yeah, you sure did. I positioned the camera very bad today, I'm sorry. Well, that's a lot of dirt. A lot, a lot of dirt. Do I have... Yeah, I do. Let's clean that up, shall we? Don't want to get that on my sticky tape. If I can avoid it. All right. Then let's pull this up. Oh, there's so, so much purple. Crazy. I'm sorry, I really did position my camera a bit weird today. Um, you get a lot of my head in here. This was not my intention. Let's turn this around. Yep. Definitely super sticky. And see. I think you can see pretty much all of the picture. It looks fantastic. The print is super clear. It looks a bit lighter on this side, but I think it is actually the adhesive because it starts to look lighter where the smaller part of the adhesive begins. I wonder if this is not the same kind of adhesive and maybe it's a little less transparent. But I have no idea, quite frankly. So. Let's show you the drill field so you can see what I'm talking about. It's exceptionally clear. There is nothing, absolutely nothing in the glue. No ripples, no bubbles, nothing that looks like it might turn into something. And if I now manage not to stick my sweater <laughs> to the adhesive, then we are golden. I think I'm going to have a lot of fun doing this one. It's, I mean, it's very monochrome and I am currently working on my um, Ever Moment painting. I recently showed you the banner one with the no house without a cat as a home or something like that. And it's getting really monotone now because it's all earth tones and stuff. But at least this here would be a monochromatic right up my, my alley because it's all purple. <laughs> so, quickly release that bit of sticky I did not pull back. Yes, a tiny, tiny, tiny ripple here. Just a very tiny one have to have an eye on that but it's it's really nothing compared to the EM fun store one I just unboxed and um, well just by the time you see that it's probably been weeks um, but yeah it's looking real good so let's do some inventory and I will as always speed this up so you don't have to sit through the whole procedure and we will talk to each other once this is done
things here. As you can see, my little inspector took care of um, checking that I didn't do it wrong. And I don't think I've ever had this color in any of my paintings. 38, 36? Don't think I've ever seen it before. It's pretty. There isn't a whole lot in this painting, just 47 drills. <laughs> but yeah, why not? So it's, it's like I said, it's mostly um, purples. Some colors I personally define as blue, um, like the 792. Um, for me, it's blue. I know everyone sees these colors a little different. Some people call it purple. Um, sorry, I had to make sure the cat wouldn't step on the keyboard. <laughs> she has left the table. <laughs> um, yeah, pretty colors. All the drills look perfect. Straight smooth back, straight sides, um, shiny. I don't see any excessive trash in any of the bags. There's nothing oily. Perfect ever moment quality. Um, I know it's getting repetitive because I've been ordering so much from them and consequently unboxing all of them, of course. Um, but yeah, it's it's just good quality, and I'm I'm really happy that this this shop or this this um, these few shops, family of shops, whatever, is actually reliable. So yeah, I like to show that to you. I like to prove it over and over again so that you know that you actually can trust them. Anyway, guys, um, I don't want to drag that out any longer than it has to be. Um, this is all I have to say about this painting. So if you like this unboxing, please give it a thumbs up. Maybe you want to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified whenever I upload a video. Um, you can also leave a comment down below or if you prefer, you can drop me an email. The email address is in the information box. There's also my Instagram handle in case you would like to follow me there to see progress pictures. Right now you get daily pictures of my progress of the ever moment I'm currently working on, though that should be done in four days. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. So by the time this video goes up, I'm going to be working on something else entirely. So I don't know why I mentioned that. Um, anyway, the pictures are not going anywhere. That's it, guys. I hope you have a great day, a great uh, weekend, a great week, whatever it is right now. Um, and. I'll be back soon, so stay tuned. Bye-bye.